What's up, guys? Welcome back to fishing. So right here we have a uh, catch, clean, cook pickerel. Uh, this is a, a smaller clip from another fishing session I did on May 2nd, which was the very first day of pickerel and walleye season. Uh, I'm not going to say too much more. I'll let the video speak for itself. Uh, but again, this was the opening day of pickerel season. I believe it was the second or third, whatever that first Saturday was. So without further ado, here it is. Hope you enjoy. Got number two. What do we got? Another small eye. Oh, we got a toothy critter. Let's not lose this floor. I could keep you, Jay, if I wanted to, but we're not going to. Got hooked. Jesus. Inhaled it. I might actually keep this guy because I don't know if he's going to live if he gets thrown back. And they are in season today. Definitely going to retie that. I don't know. Let's see what this guy looks like I don't even know what the size limit is but it can't be bigger than 18 and I think he's 18 he is he's 20 inches so we're gonna keep him not that I was looking to keep a pick roll snip the gills Throw him on this, our stringer, let him bleed out in the water. And after he's bled out, we're going to put him in the cooler. All right, surprisingly, the line's not really that frayed up, mainly because the pick roll ate its tail first and the bill was hanging out of the, either the gill or the front of the mouth. I'll review the footage later, but it's not frayed, so we're just gonna leave it as is and try and get another fish. I'm definitely digging this, this shadow rappler. I'm going to go go to my local department store and clean out the rest of them. Got our pick roll just bleeding out in the water. And let's see if we can get uh, some more fish. Oh man, another one. Wow, that was close. <laughs> that was really close. <laughs> Holy sh! All right, so welcome back. This is the catch and cook. Well, catch, clean, and cook of pickerel. So we have our pickerel right here. All right, so just a couple things before we get started. Um, I did not plan to keep this fish. I did not want to keep a pickerel. However, the way it was hooked. Uh, it was clear that it would die if I let it go, so obviously I'm not going to let it go to waste. This one is of legal size, about 21 inches, and today is the first Saturday of May, uh, May 2nd, so it is fair game. So we're going to clean it. I have never kept a pick roll before, so if I butcher this, then it's not a surprise because I've never kept one, I've never eaten one. So I'm actually looking quite forward to seeing how it tastes. These things have a reputation for being bony, uh, so I'm going to pull the bones later, but right now... I'm in a little bit of a, a rush, so we're just going to get the meat off the, the carcass. So we're just going to go right along the side. Standard issue. Uh, initial impressions. This isn't a huge pickerel. They don't really grow super big. I mean, there are some nice ones. Um, 
not a ton of meat to work with here, but right as we get in, I'm noticing a lot of very clean white flesh, so definitely not something that would be cooked side by side with a, a fish like a lake trout. We're just gonna get in, trace the, the spinal cord. Again, this is new to me, so just using my standard issue fillet practices, best practices. through and before we finish that we're gonna go to the other side Oops. do the same thing if you're wondering why I'm using newspaper it's just to contain some of the mess that may ensue blood etc I did bleed this thing out so I'm hoping that that uh, ups the quality of the, the flesh Especially if we choose to freeze this, but I don't think that's going to happen. Right. Try not to get that caught. Alright. There's one. Like the lake trout we are going to take the skins off these so if you ever want to know how to do that is cut a little sliver here right at the end and we hold on and we kind of just trace that all the way to the end fillets don't look bad i'm not gonna lie uh definitely do feel some bones in here we're just going to cut them out and we'll take from there so that wasn't a huge fish uh this is what we're left with because a lot of the meat is just straight bones, as I expected. That's just straight bones in there. So unless I want to break the tweezers out and pull each one out, uh, I don't really have it in me. This is what's left of like the, the non-bony meat. So we're gonna clean this up and get it cooked in a little bit. All right, so we are back. It is a day later than when I caught that pickerel. So here's the pickerel meat. That was a 21 or 22 inch pickerel and that's all we can get off it so much of it was so bony but the meat looks good it looks really you know white it's firm uh, i've never kept one of these before never eaten one of these and i can definitely feel that there's still some bones but uh we'll worry about that later so let's go over here uh, i'm actually shooting this the same day that i got the lake trout so uh you're seeing this later but we kind of have that as a baseline so we're just laying that on our pan Nothing too fancy, just a little pit roll on the pan. Lay them out. we got one large piece that I'm going to cut in half. As you'll note, they're very long uh, pieces. I had to really cut the bones away. There's probably a better way, but I was just kind of rushing. It's probably more than I should put in the pan, but I'm being lazy right now, so... I apologize. It smells good as it's cooking, but obviously everything smells good when it's cooking in butter. All right, we're gonna leave that like so, cover it, and be back in, I don't know, five minutes. All right, so there you have it. The pickerel's done. It did not take very long to cook through. Uh, it wasn't super thick, so it looks pretty good. You know, we got some salt and pepper on it cooked in butter, so let's see how it goes. I did not probably debone this thing as thoroughly as I could have because I was in kind of a rush, but let's see what it tastes like. So, First time cleaning a pickerel, first time eating a pickerel. I gotta say, it's actually pretty, pretty good. It tastes really nice. Uh, it's very mild, not at all fishy. Um, tastes really good, just butter seared like this, some salt and pepper. Uh, comparable to lake trout. I mean, both of them, no real fishiness if it's fresh. Um, I guess the big issue with these fish is just how bony they are because I mean it tastes pretty good if this were like a larger fish where there were bigger fillets I mean I bet a lot of people will be keeping these and eating them but uh 
And it's funny because people catch these and, you know, they're all over the place in some of the lakes they're in. So I'm, I'm kind of surprised by how, you know, pretty good this is. Uh, the issue, I guess, again, is just how bony they are and how much of the meat is going to go to waste. So a little bit of a surprise, I guess. Uh, pickerel, who would have thought? Uh, so that's going to do it for this video. I uh, hope you liked it. Uh, if you like what you saw, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit a like button, leave, leave a comment. If you already subscribed, thank you. Uh, if you like this video and you want to see more Catch and Cook, let me know. I've definitely got a lot of species to work through. Uh, and you got that to look forward to because I'm going to try it anyways. Hope you enjoyed. See y'all next time.